What's up YouTube? Welcome to One Little Coder. Google recently launched a new feature in the Google made by Google event that's called Photo Unblur. So it's it works very simple. You have to take an uh, take an image that has uh, blurred, especially motion or focus blur, and uh, you can use Google Pixel devices, especially seven or seven Pro, and then unblur it completely. And this is one of the most talking point for the recent launch. And I was thinking, you know what? If Google is doing it. This must be definitely somewhere in deep learning and it must have been open source somewhere. So why don't we try it? And I spent a couple of hours and then tried to figure out. So ultimately I figured out how you can do um, your own open source version of image debler using debler GAN v2. So disclaimer, the result is not as good as Google because I'm not doing a lot of customization. I'm just taking a pre-trained model and then I'm just using it for inference. I think you can improve this model for the benefit of whatever you are doing it. But here I have put together a very small tutorial and also Kaggle notebook that will take you through this entire process of how to create your own version of photo and blur using dblur GAN v2. First thing, kudos to the developers of dblur GAN v2. They have created an amazing project. I think according to them, they took the code from restore GAN and then they modified it. And uh, that is what dblur can v2 is. And they've also provided the pre-trained models. And also as part of this tutorial, as part of this video tutorial, I have created a Google, sorry, Kaggle notebook. And that Kaggle notebook will be linked in the YouTube description for you to check it out. So first thing, if you're going to do it from scratch, all you have to do is go to kaggle.com or go to Google Colab, create a new notebook with GPU. As you can see, I have enabled the GPU accelerator surprisingly while i was going to make this project i could not get a gpu provisioned on google collab i've got a separate video tutorial about three alternatives free alternatives for google collab gpu definitely check it out if you also face an issue with google collab gpu but if you are not facing an issue you are one of the luckiest to get google collab gpu at this point so you can continue with google collab as well the next step is we have to first clone the repository so this is the repository that we're going to clone on into our local machine and after we clone the repository you need to get into the um, uh, the working directory of dblur gan v2 in my case with kaggle notebook it didn't happen properly so i'm going to do it again but if you are using google collab this line of code where you do cd should ideally take you inside the dblur gan v2 the next step is for you to install the libraries required for dblur gan v2 and that can be installed simply through requirements.txt so pip install dash r requirements.txt will install all the required files or libraries for this particular project once you're done with that the next thing is i'm just trying to change the current working path it did not change for me using bash so i'm using python code to change my working directory you can see how my working directory has changed on kaggle notebook once that is done i'm just using ls to verify my current working directory and as you can see i've got all the files in place that i want the next thing is we need to create our input image i'm going to call it input blurry blurry image so next thing is we need to have an input blurry image and i'm downloading that image from from internet or uh, you know something that you can upload so in my particular case um, i'm actually i have actually taken this image this particular image from google demo so i can show you that this is actually part of google demo and i've taken this image and you can see that how this image looks sharpened like before google um, made this it was like this and after the restoration process it is like this like this and this our result is not as good as this but this is your source image this is the image that i am taking and also giving it as an input image i'm using wget save it in a name called blurred image.jpg and then downloading that image which has been uploaded on github next thing is i'm displaying the image for you so that you can see what is the image and next thing is i'm actually again checking whether the blurry image uh, is present inside or the blurred image is present inside my current working directory the next thing that we need to do is we need to download the pre-trained model weights and uh, in this case i'm trying to download the pre-trained model weight and um, i had a little bit of issue in here because 
According to GitHub, they said fpn underscore inception dot h5 should ideally download the pre-trained model weight, which in fact downloaded, but somehow the code could not identify it. So I ended up again downloading the model weight using a different um, code. So which is the path that they have given for uh, the PyTorch weights, which is inception ResNet v2. And also then I saved it in the same name and I saved it in the current working directory. The biggest hiccup here you would face is that th for this particular link, the certificate, the SSL certificate is expired. And uh, I'm, I just tried a bunch of things to figure it out. And finally I said, okay, what? Say no check certificate when you download it using WGET and that should fix the problem that we are facing. So at this point, we have both the fpn underscore inception dot h5 which is exactly what they have mentioned in the documentation you can see that they have said you can download fpn underscore inception dot h5 and also then you can download the file that was initially missing which it could not download which is inception resonate v2 and um, the weights so once you have these things downloaded the next thing is you need to copy this downloaded file the pytorch weight into this particular path and that is what I'm exactly doing here using CP command. The next thing is we need to start the prediction process. Very unfortunately for me, the file that they gave did not work for prediction for some strange reason. Um, I can I can actually try now. So I can say predict.py blurred image and then see if it works. So initially it was not working for me. So what I had to do is I had to create my own file and then try it. But, but let us see. So as you can see in this case, again, nothing happened. So what I did is I created a new file called predict.py and inside that file, I actually hard coded the JPEG name, the input image name. If you're going to follow this code, you shouldn't probably face any problem because I've already created a new file. You can see in the current working directory, I've created a file called predict.py, which literally takes the predict.py sorry here it is predict1.py which literally takes a predict.py and then makes only one change where in the final line instead of getting the image path dynamically i'm just hard coding it saying blurred image.jpg and i'm writing it as predict1.py and i'm using that predict1.py to predict uh, or to create an unblurred image and as you can see i'm going to execute this thing and one, once I execute it, it is going to create the output image inside a folder or subfolder called submit. So you can see once this process finishes, there is, a, there is an image that is stored inside the submit folder and that image is what I'm going to display and you can see. This is the unblurred image using dblur GAN and this is how it looks before getting blurred. Before getting blurred, it looks like this. So pay close attention, take a couple of seconds. And after blurring, it looks like this. Before blurring, sorry, before de-blurring, it looks like this. And you can see the details in here, the bridge, the people behind, and you can see the jitter there. Uh, but after you de-blur it, the bridge is quite, um, you know, uh, more sharpened, less blurred, uh, less autofocus. And you can also see the hair here, how it is blurred and how it is unblurred a deep blurred unblurred whatever it is and also you can see the hand here and you can see the difference of how it is so like i said google has got really pretty good um, difference you can see this is before deep blurring unblurring and this is afterwards so you can see the huge difference in there and we are not getting that level of difference and like i said it is also because i'm just literally using the pre-trained model the default options and um, that's that's one of the reason Another example that Google showed is the main image that is available here. So I want to show you how it looks that as well. So I'm going to first go to the image and then let me show you the image. The blurred image is, it looks like this. So you can see the blurred part here and the blurred part here. So I'm going to copy the image link. So if you were to use my Kaggle notebook and do, I'm showing you how you can do it. It's just like a couple of clicks. Let's go find the path of the image that you want to be unblurred or deblurred, and then go to this line where I've said input blurry image and paste the path here. Once you paste the path here, run this, it is going to download the image and then overwrite the file. 
and then display it and that is going to show something like this once you have that ready the next step is you scroll down to the last section and do python predict one dot pipe blurred image and that is going to do the unblurring or deblurring for you and once the progress bar finishes it's going to save the file inside the subfolder called submit and now that it has successfully saved let us look at the image and you can see this is how the resulted images um, let me just for you to compare it i'm going to show you the original image this is oops this is how the original image is you can see uh, the blur around the sunglasses this is more like a motion blur and uh, not necessarily like an out of focus but more like a motion blur you can see um, everything here around this area and you can see the clarity here the sunglasses the hair and like like i said again it is not a very perfect like how google shows you um definitely i don't expect at the end of this tutorial you will have a google equivalent um but that's why i'm calling it a pixel like on blur even though you are not getting 100 percent drop in replacement of what pixel is doing but i think this is really really cool and as an extension of this project you can also explore to export this uh, model weights into a tf light and tensorflow light model weight uh, model and then you can try to see if you can build an android application or something on top of it if you are an android app developer but if you are just like me um, if you want to just fill um, build cool fun hobby projects i i think this this was an amazing exercise um, after spending a bunch of hours so where i could literally take the idea from google take a uh, take google's example and then build something as um, close as what google could do uh, using open source and uh, yeah it's, it's it's a decent difference i'm so happy with the result and like i said um after you, after this i'm going to save this notebook make it public make it public yeah make it public and um, and you will be able to the, the, sorry this this notebook will be available in the youtube description um where you can directly check it out and then play with the play with the entire code without having to do anything so if you are going to do it for um if you're going to do it for your own image like i said copy the image path go to the place where i have mentioned input blurry image and replace this particular path then go back to the code we are running predict one dot pi and then run that and within just a couple of seconds you should have the unblurred image ready for you to show it to your friends share it with your family uh, unlike google pixel the advantage here is if you manage to make this work you can do it at scale you have got 100 files inside a folder that has blurred or you know out of focus you can use this code to de-blur it or unblur it and i think that is the power of programming if you know how to do it once again a huge shout out to the team behind deep blur can v2 so i've literally used whatever they have built and then put together a coding demo and tutorial for you any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy coding peace